morning. I am Devi Sena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about Kepler's first law. This topic is present in the subject satellite communication. Kepler's laws. To govern the motion of the satellites, some laws should be followed. Satellites follow the law as the planets around the sun. During 1571 to 1630, John Kepler derived three laws describing planetary motion. Kepler's law of planetary motion applied to any two bodies in space that interact through gravitation. The law of motions are described through three fundamental principles derived by John Kepler. Kepler's first law. The orbit of each planet follows an elliptical path in space with the sun as one focus. The motion lies in the plane around the sun. Now we see the explanation for the Kepler's first law. The path followed by the satellite, example Earth, around the primary, example Sun, is an ellipse. The ellipse have two focal points. The center of mass is always centered at one of the focal. For an elliptical orbit, the important definitions we will see are E is the elliptical eccentricity. The value of E is 0 less than E less than 1 means that indicates the orbit path is ellipse. The value of E is equal to 0 means the orbit path takes the circle. O is the center of the earth. One focus of the ellipse. C is the center of the ellipse. Perigi, the point closest to the earth. Apogi, the point farthest from the earth. P is equal to width of ellipse at the focus. That is equal to A into open bracket 1 minus E square. The close the bracket. The value of A is equal to the length of semi-major axis. Its value is equal to perigi plus apogi divided by 2. And R0 is the distance of Earth's center to satellite. B is the length of semi-minor axis. Phi0 is equal to angle between R0 and perigi. Let us see the orbit characteristics. Semi-axis lengths of the orbit. A is equal to P divided by 1 minus E square. And B is equal to A into square root of 1 minus E square. Where the value of P is equal to H square divided by mu. And H is the magnitude of the angular momentum. Return to solution of differential equation. The orbit height is R0 is equal to P divided by 1 plus E into cos of phi0. When x0 is chosen so that both the apogee and the perigee lie along it. The major axis of the ellipse. Let us see the orbit eccentricity. For elliptical orbit, if A is the semi-major axis, B is the semi-minor axis and the value of E is equal to, that is eccentricity of the orbit ellipse is equal to A minus B divided by A plus B. If the orbit is a circular orbit, the value of A is equal to B is equal to 0. 
So the value of V is equal to 0 for circular orbit. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.